Hey everyone, it's Rhonda here from Nelson Soapery. Today we're going to be doing a video that is a little bit different. We're going to be doing a video all about Shopify. Now I know lots of you want to know it has been a huge question on my YouTube channel. So today we are going to be welcoming in just a moment. We're going to be welcoming Anna and she is from House of Cart. Now House of Cart um, specialize in Shopify and helping you with the websites. So when Anna gets on in just a moment, we will actually go through lots of questions that I have and we'll talk about that as well. As well, we are super duper lucky because Anna will be talking as a guest speaker at um, the 2023 uh, gala event which is all about the Australian Soaping and Candle Conference so that will be super super exciting when Anna actually comes along to that for the gala so if you don't have your tickets make sure you jump on and get them because I am sure once people know that Anna will be there and of course uh, with her company House of Cart I am definitely sure that you'll all want to jump on so we will just wait for Anna and then we will get going get into the questions everybody knows I have already introduced gorgeous Anna from House of Cart and we do want her amazing advice so for everyone this is all about Shopify all your websites and everything else you want to know so first of all Anna let's get into the main question tell me a little bit about House of Cart how you came about and you know just all about your business Hey Rhonda, thanks for having me on today. So yeah, absolutely. So my name's Anna. Um, I run House of Cart. So we are a Shopify and Clavio um, expert agency. I say agency, but you know, we're certainly not your traditional agency. You know, first and foremost, I'm a mum. I've got three, three under seven running around and you know, this business helps us create the lifestyle design that we want. So, you know, working in the e-commerce space, um, having that remote lifestyle of work and, you know, that falls into what our clients are looking for too. So what we offer is we work with a lot of women in business, you know, women startups, mums in business, mum startups um, that just want to get online and grow online and create a business that can bring in revenue, you know, so they don't have to go back to work. They can make their side hustle an actual business and be earning. So we offer everything to do with Shopify in terms of building a store, maintaining a store and growing a store so whether it be you've got the business idea and you're currently selling through facebook or you know very manually via dms and things like that um, we're about getting people into shopify to create a store to get that automation going and so for people that have already got a store maybe they've built themselves a, a website and it's you know it's just not converting it's not doing what you know they don't know really what they're doing so we work with our clients to help them understand what Shopify is, what it can do, and how they can grow it and build it to be a successful business and generate income for themselves and their families. Yeah, great. And I'm sure that's what lots of people are looking for, especially, you know, after we're sort of come out of COVID or we're slowly coming out of COVID. I think lots and lots of people are looking at small business and how they can actually start to go, especially mums, as many of people that will be listening today know I'm a mum of seven and um yeah you didn't tell me that wow. yeah no, I'm a mum of seven Thank my oldest proud. daughter is 30 now um wow. and yeah my youngest baby is 14 and I know because I've always worked for myself I mean I have worked for other companies but basically mostly for myself so I get it it's very convenient and the, like you said they can do it online I mean it's not hard they can sit in their lounge room when the kids are gone to bed for a nap and uh, get online and get all this happening. I was just going to say, it's exactly right. And that's, you know, especially after COVID and the way the world is moving, there is really big opportunities for people to start small businesses and to be really successful at it. And definitely now is the time. And people have realised that, that, you know, life's more than going to work every day and doing those 40 hours. Yeah. Um, and it's absolutely possible to have that business from home if you, you know, if you get it set up correctly. Yeah, and the one thing that, you know, I always say to people is you don't need to be rich to do this. A lot of people think you have to have $50,000 behind you or whatever. And I always say, you know, and I tell everyone this story, I started with $22. I uh, love it. Yeah, that's I it. stories from my clients. You know, we have clients that start with nothing. They just yeah. start with nothing or they start with $1,000, you know, just to get things going in a site. 
you yeah. absolutely right you don't it's not a it's not a rich person's game it really isn't no and I think you know I really think my thing is you know if you want to succeed it's determination and a lot of hours you know you just have to put it those is. hours in I it mean, is. and there's no such thing as nine to five working for yourself as you would know it's you know all it's the great. time there's so days the I work 15 the hours on the flip side of that is you know you're home you're in you know you've got that flexibility you've got if you've got kids you've got time with your family time with your children you can make yeah. it work for you and your lifestyle design rather than and it's so much more satisfying even if we are doing more than 40 hours a week when you're doing it for yeah. yourself and you're doing it for your passion that's right and it doesn't feel like that because you stop and pick up the kids from school stop and do dinner exactly. you know and yep. you know it, it doesn't really feel like that you know a lot of people say to me oh you work yep. a lot but I'm like yeah it doesn't feel like exactly. when you go to work you know if you think you've got to get up at seven to be there at nine and so really even though you're working nine to five it's really like seven to seven absolutely you know? agree. couldn't agree the more time, yeah with travel and, and I mean you don't have to travel you save money on petrol too so. exactly and you know while you sleep you still have orders coming through and you wake up in the morning and you know all these beautiful people have bought your product or yeah it's yep. very very satisfying very so now the next thing is that lots of people ask me about is when is the right time to get a store you know should you be on etsy first or should you have all your photos ready first or how much of the website you know all the background you need to do before you actually launch yep so i guess you know, that is a very open question, but from our point of view and our opinion and what we've seen over the last five years of, you know, startups getting online, there really is no better time than to start straight away. It's about putting your best foot forward. Yes, we get a lot of clients that start on Etsy or as I say, you know, Facebook and they're just manually doing orders, um, but that's also wasted time that you're not automating your business. Um, getting a website set up from the very beginning is so important for the fact that you just you know, you're learning a lot quicker. You have things automated a lot quicker. You come across very professional, you know, without a website, it's like having, you know, there is a difference between not having a shop front if you've got a retail business, you know, it's about having that presence and having that website shows you're a professional business, you know, you're serious about your business, you take it seriously, you take your customers seriously and it's that real presentation of who you are as a brand. So we would say there is no set time of when you're ready like it's not about you know your first sale should be from your website um, yeah. because the whole process is then automated in terms of being ready for the website yeah. so if we step back a bit in terms of just say you're a new person you've been selling at markets um, you've been selling online and you're thinking about a website am I actually ready to set one up our process works kind of like this so when you work with us, we send you a checklist of everything you could possibly need, that you're going to need for us to build the website for you. And what that does is we find it brings it back down to ground for clients. And it's a full checklist. Like, have you got your logo? Have you got your photos? Have you written some content? Have you got descriptions of your products? So it gives you the opportunity to write, put it all down on a list instead of having it floating around in your head. And you can just start ticking them off. And as you've got those ready, then we can build the site. So, you know, it's about there's no better time than just to get going because um, yeah. we often find when you don't have anything in place and you don't have a plan, you're planning to fail because you're yeah. not setting any goals. You haven't got a solid list of, okay, every week I'm going to get two things off this list done. This week I'm going to get my logo finalised. This week I'm going to get my product descriptions done. The following week I'm going to get my domain set up. I'm going to get whatever it may be. But having that plan mm. is how it's long and keeps it moving. So... Yeah, I think that is true. A lot of people feel just too overwhelmed. And I yep. know myself when I first, I actually had a Shopify, organized it five years ago and mm -hmm. went not too hard. And, yep. you know, it was in the too hard basket. And I, I hear that a lot. People feel really yep. overwhelmed. And we it is overwhelming when you're not good on a computer. It's Agreed. really overwhelming. So that's where Agreed. I think maybe speaking to somebody like you or, you know, getting Absolutely. some advice, it might be a great place just to start even if they don't know what they're doing just to go okay what do I do before yep. I come back Agreed. and get you to help yeah and you know we have that conversation a lot with when when I talk to people initially on the phone we have a 15 minute strategy call and we just have a quick chat and that's yep. often the first thing I say I'm just overwhelmed I don't really even know where to start and I always say the same thing you know once you start working with us we give you this checklist and the checklist just brings everything back to the ground 
and it makes yeah. you know things that in smaller brackets are so much more manageable um, and when you've got a list to work through and you understand what you need to gather and often they go you know what I've actually got half that list I've already got all of that I just haven't really organized it properly digitally or I haven't yeah. you know brought it all together um, mm-hmm. but you'd be surprised you've probably got a lot of the stuff already ready because if you're doing markets maybe you've already got a PayPal maybe you've already got a little logo because you've got some little marketing cards out there um, and then you've got this other list of stuff you haven't done um, and we give you step by step. So, yeah, absolutely. If you're feeling overwhelmed, there's no better way to feel better about it than just listing it all down, writing yeah. down what you need to do. Um, and that's the hard part. And that's seriously the hardest part of getting the website mm. is just gathering that stuff. But once you're done and yeah. then the website's built and you see the site, you know, it's just worth every sort of every time that you put into it because the result is amazing. And when you see your brand, it's like seeing your name up in lights. Yeah. When you see your site there and you've got traffic coming to your site and you get your first order, it was worth all the effort and time to yeah. get all that stuff together. Oh, 100%. And, you know, I actually had, I won't say who it was, but I had a, a cheaper website at the start, you know, many years ago. And, yep. you know, honestly, the minute I changed over to Shopify, and I say this all the time, this is really true, um, and this is with no marketing, no Facebook marketing, mm-hmm. nothing, immediately within a couple of weeks, I started seeing sales. Absolutely. You yeah. Know? And that, people that don't was- realise, but, you know, Shopify, I just think looks more professional it and does. as my husband said to me, if something's harder to set up, it means it's more professional. You know, yep. if you're going to have one that's just drop in the box, well, it's just, you know, carbon it's copy, great. but you're not standing out. Whereas Shopify has different themes and different things you can do to stand out. So I think that is the difference. And, you know, with Shopify, so for our business, like we only work on Shopify. I don't work on Wix. I don't work on Squarespace. And we back them for a reason because, you know, I'm only e-commerce. That's what we're about. And Shopify is built and designed around everything e-commerce. You know, their goals for their their platform are just massive. And what they've put in place, especially in the last year, things have changed so much with COVID. E-commerce is moving so fast. And the yeah. platform now is so powerful. It has such amazing features and functionality to really skyrocket your store. You know, if you... If you, if you jump on board and you have a look at some of the, the client builds that we've got, you'll see how seamless and how beautiful their stores are and yeah. how attractive they are to a customer. So, yeah, yeah. absolutely possible with Shopify. It's a, it's a brilliant platform. It and really I is. feel like it's kind of smooth. You know, like when I swapped over, I have so many people that say to me all the time, I love your store. It's so easy. You know, it's just drop down, you know, they look at the products, type in what they want and can find it. And people don't realise that's not a special app. That, you know, that's your basic Shopify. Absolutely. um, And people think they've got to pay for that. But, you know, I always say you don't. You can just have the standard if that's what you want. You can't afford all the extras. And then as you grow, then start putting extras on. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing has been built that way so you know you can get a free thing you can get it set up and it does the job fine you know it gets you going it gets traffic and as you grow and as you make sales and you can put more money towards the budget of improving it um it can be done at any time we say that to clients all the time you know what's set up initially is not set in stone you know it's ever evolving ever changing um and it can grow with you as a business and as your budget grows as well Yeah, and the thing too that I think is really important is I say to people, don't try and get perfection. You just need it up. No one's going to find you when you're at home making it perfect. So much well. Yeah, Rhonda, I couldn't agree more. And we, you know, you can procrastinate for years on whether it's right, whether, you know, and it's ever changing. And it's also procrastinating what's actually perfect to you. It's also we try to get clients to see it from different eyes. Yeah. You know, what you love and what's perfect, it's not about you. It's about yeah. your customer and what they want to see. And, you know, they just want to see your product up there. They just yeah. want to be able to buy your product with ease um, yeah. and to start that process. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I think, you know, they just want click and buy, you know. And the more, yep. I think the more extras you have, sometimes it's, it doesn't help because people go, no, too many. I watched a, a video exactly. a while ago about too many clicks means no sale. You know, Absolutely. it's too hard. Yep. The journey to from landing through to checkout needs to be very streamlined, you know, and the yeah. user journey and the customer experience needs to be very targeted for what your shopper is. You know, 
I talk mm-hmm. a lot about, you know, if we're a mum shopper, often I'm shopping in between 2 and 2.30 when I'm sitting in the car waiting for pickup, right? And yeah. I just I want to get in, I want to quickly shop, or I'm quickly shopping in between the kids, or maybe it's between work or whatever. Um, yeah. And, you know, I don't have time to sit there and click, 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 click. I need all the information now, pretty quickly, yeah. a really quick overview, some social proof, some beautiful imagery, and I'm happy to buy. So yeah. And that's the thing too, you know, I think the main thing is, and I say to people, please don't think you need a photographer. You do not. iPhones are amazing. You can use your iPhone to take pictures. Um, So for anyone watching that doesn't know. Yeah, there's also Shopify have, um, there's two blogs in particular. I'll grab the links and I can post them later on. Yeah. Um, One DIY 101 photography. Exactly that. On an iPhone, you can go to Bunnings, get some white core flu. Um, yeah. You can set it up. You can do it all so cheaply. Yeah, you can yeah. absolutely make beautiful photos from your iPhone. And as I say to lots of people, a lot of my backdrops, because people always say, I love your backdrops. All it is is a printed piece of A4 paper. <laughs> that is it. Duck on my kitchen wall. You know, yep, so- there's the hack. There's well, the hack. that's right. It's, you know, and <laughs> this is what our YouTube's all about. You don't need to, you know, be earning $100,000 to be able to do this. You can, you know, like I said, this this can start as your hobby, which that's all it started with with me was a yep. hobby. And, yep. um, you know, and then it can blow up. You just don't know. Yeah, when you start to see that progression and you want to step it up, then, you know, as the sales run through, you can always, you know, be – ever evolving and upgrade as you go but yeah you can absolutely get on online on a very low budget um, and just get your name out there just start promoting out there yeah and I really think bricks and mortar is going to slowly slowly go you know we're always going to have it but I I don't think it's going to be big like it was when I was growing up I think it's going to be a great yeah, I th- you know, there's so many. And when I say big, I mean, there's some huge, very big figure companies that are just online only that do not have a bricks and mortar store. Yeah. So yeah. And anyone you know, thinking you need it, you I don't. don't. I really don't go to the shops much anymore. You know, sometimes if I yeah. maybe need to, but generally I also shop online for pretty much everything, I, you know, apart from Coles. Yeah. Um, and it's the way the world's shopping now. It's the way Australia is shopping right now. Yeah. Um, and then five to ten years are still you know we're we're really at the beginning of e-commerce skyrocket and yeah. it's just going to get growing and you know there's no better time now than to get online and just really jump on the on the train yeah I really think now is is you're yeah, 100 on it I think now is we're lucky to be here right now and I think COVID has sort of forced us to think of those things and yep. you know my daughters are in their 20s and they are prime shopping age and Absolutely. I tell you 90 percent of their shopping is online they exactly. sit at my house having a coffee and buy online. None yep. of them go to the shop. So. No, it's, no, those days are kind of gone. And I also think the flip side of that is Australia now after COVID is thinking very differently about who they shop from and yeah. the fact that supporting small business, um, yeah. you know, jumping on the little local people that, you know, are selling stuff online. So that mindset's changed a lot as well. The trust yeah. factor has already been put out there for you because, mm-hmm. You know, people are understanding it's not a dodgy internet world anymore. It's not about that. And are these sites trustworthy? And who are who am I buying from? If you set your store up correctly to have that trust factor in it, you know, the audiences are, are there. They're ready to shop online. The, the whole mindset's also changed in terms of the shopper as well now. Yeah. And how do you think Shopify can actually help with SEO? Because I get asked that quite a lot. How does yep. that work? And can you offer something that will actually help? Yep, so Shopify as a platform has built-in SEO and built-in SEO tools that really help with the hierarchy of the pages and the way the headings are pushed push through um, and inside the product descriptions and the collection descriptions, there's lots of little sections to add in your SEO. The one thing I always say about SEO is, one, I'm not an SEO expert, so we don't offer it as an actual service. Yep. We have all the pre-built stuff into Shopify but SEO is a big game and it's a long game. And the starting point needs to be is potentially finding out what your keywords are going to be and using your content around that. So yeah. even if, you know, SEO is always going to be a bit costly and you can go out and spend a lot and get an SEO person to, you know, create a whole pile of stuff for you. Hmm. The simple and easiest way is to get someone to just create your SEO keywords for you. You can often get it for around about 
you know, two ninety nine, three ninety nine for someone to just give you a list of say twenty to fifty words that you yeah. then can create and make sure you use on your site. Um, yeah. But you know, as a whole, Shopify is very SEO friendly um, if set up correctly with all your words. And then from there, you can grow your SEO and your rankings and things like that. And I think that too. And the one thing that I do want people to understand, you don't open a Shopify and immediately you're everywhere. You know, it takes time. It takes about months, I think, Work. for any yep. any company, you know, online. But especially I do agree with, like you said, with Shopify, because when I went from a basic website to Shopify, I really mm-hmm. feel that those keywords, the SEO, the descriptions really bumped me forward. And a lot of people say when they actually put Australia made soap that I come up quite high. There and, you go. Yeah. You know, absolutely. and it's that's always in it. Right. Yeah, agree. You've got to write handmade soap, you know, handmade, you know, whatever, you know. And yep, um, I think right. AU, putting AU is really important. Um, it is. Yes, in description. It is. I mean mine's just a dot com. I don't use an AU and a lot of people are the same. But, um, and I think that's fine, but I think you need to have AU or Australia in your description mm-hmm. words um, for people shopping here that want to support here. So hopefully, are we good at saying you are in that handmade niche. Yeah, when you are in that handmade niche and you're in that sort of um, niche market, it's really important to, you know, that you're emphasising the fact, you know, locally made, handcrafted, you know, Yeah, it's really, really important. It really is. Yeah, I think so. Now let's talk about 2.0 because I know that is on a lot of people's mind with Shopify and a lot of people are scared because they're like, I've just got a new site done or, you know, I've just fixed my site. I don't want to redo it. How can I get around to it? So maybe you can give a bit of background and help with that. Yeah, so look, it's a massive topic right now. It's something we've been talking a lot about on different podcasts and you know, guest speaking events that we've been going to. Yeah. Look, there's no two ways about it. It's a game changer. So basically, you need to migrate. There is no two ways about it. And it's come at a time where Shopify knows the importance of what needed to change. um, And they've made those changes accordingly. So now when we look at the sites, 2.0 is now we're building on a different framework. We're able to manipulate and design and develop in a very different way inside the theme editor and the the, you know what they're trying to achieve is that we build better stores they're more converting they're more professional they're more built out they're faster um, they're more mobile optimized all of the things that need to happen for your store to convert so as a whole we're saying to people you know if you don't change over you will get left behind your site's going to become slow it's not going to have mobile optimization, optimization, and it's not going to be designed in a way that it could be to yeah. really push the traffic. So, you know, it's making the stores faster. It's making them better on mobile. Um, and there's a couple of little scenarios. So if you already have a store and you've already purchased a premium theme and you've had it built, you do get the free, uh, you do get the theme again for free. You can download it again. However, it will be a blank shell. So it will need a full rebuild because we're now d- building on a different framework. So all your products and all your collections and all your, you know, your setup information is still there. We call that the back end, but yeah. the outfit, the theme, the front end of what they see is now different. So we're essentially putting a new outfit on your products and collections. So it yeah. will require a rebuild. Um, and also now is a good opportunity because themes have changed a lot. Um, There's some beautiful new themes out there now. So now is a good time. If you have been a couple of years between doing anything to your store, now is the perfect opportunity to do that. Now is the perfect opportunity to step up your copy. Is my about us amazing? Is my wording amazing? Have I, you know, have I talked about who I am as a brand? Does that relate on the page of who I am, what I am, what I stand for? Um, Is there a trust factor now? So now is a really good time to, really do your site in a way that puts your best foot forward because you know in a couple of months time when everybody else has already migrated and if you haven't your competition will be ahead of you if you haven't so yeah it is a bit of a you know a hurdle for a lot of people um Mm. but something that we can absolutely recommend and it's something that you know everybody needs to be thinking about and putting into play um as soon as they can to migrate across 
So if somebody doesn't understand it, can they actually have like a 15 minute talk or something with you to yep, kind of get more of a grasp around it? Sure. So what I'll do is I can drop the link in, in at the bottom. You know, you can book a free call with me um, and have a chat. We have 15 minute strategy sessions where I get, you know, have a quick look at your site, see what's going on, and I can make some recommendations. Um, yeah. It's absolutely something you can do yourself. You know, you can also rebuild and, you know, re-theme yourself. If it's something yeah. you're just not confident with, you don't know how to do it, but you know you need to do it, we do offer that service. So we have yeah. a full rebuild package, which is from start to finish. So all I need from you is to complete a questionnaire, which is just who, why, what you are, what you're doing, who you're targeting, um, and we do the rest for you. So we assess for a free theme, uh, assess for a theme that might suit your brand. Um, we make suggestions about getting your copy changed. Um, and then we rebuild the whole thing for you. So at the end of it, all you need to do is switch it live. So we also do offer that service for people that really just either one don't have the time or they don't have the know-how and they just want to yeah. get it done correctly from the start. So and yeah, I think absolutely. that's the thing too. Some people are really good at it and they're like, yep, get it. I'm going to go with it. Like, yep. uh, you know, I had mine redone, but I still change all the products and everything. So I do everything behind the background. It was just the pretties that I didn't do absolutely. because just mine had bubbles fun. moving and things like that. And I get yeah, asked about fun. that a lot. Yeah, so, um, but you know, you do need somebody to help you if you want something advanced like that. You do need to pay up and yep. Um, yep. get that and done. You in your business, it's an investment in you know, it's backing your brand. Um, you know, and it's 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 money well spent because at the end of the day, you're going to make it back once your site's out there. Um, and it's yeah. converting. You know, it's worth every cent to to really step it up. Yeah, hundred percent. So now we've got all that bit out the way, and I'm sure people are going to go. Oh, I feel so much more comfortable because I think a lot of people were freaking out, thinking, "Oh no, I've got to do everything. I can't afford it." So yep. that's good that you know, because I think a lot of people forget that there is a back end, um, and it's not all together. There are a couple things that are a little bit different. Whereas if you don't understand it, I yep. think that can make it a little bit messy. You know, Agreed. so now let's start talking about marketing. Lots of people ask me about the email marketing on Shopify, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you can probably elaborate a bit on that. Yep. So the other side of what we run is an agency. So we stand behind Clavio very heavily for email marketing. So I don't do Facebook ads. I don't do Google ads. We're not out there being marketers. But one thing I do know is that email marketing is massive. Yeah. Um, and if I was to throw a number out there, brands that are already on their store, you should be or can be making 30% of your revenue purely from email marketing. Um, yeah. With Clavio, it's absolutely possible. And it's about tailoring and personalizing the experience and the connection with your customer and your traffic um, via beautiful welcome emails, sending out abandoned cart series where it's connecting and chatting to them on a personal level via email. Yes, there is a lot of noise on email, but done correctly, email marketing is massive and it's powerful. You know, the lead is already warm. They've potentially already been to your site. They've seen your products. They might like it to start with. So mm. already when you connect with them, you know, they've already got a potential I might buy. If you're out there just doing Facebook ads and Google ads and you're sending them to your site, you know, potentially they're not interested in your product. Um, yeah. But email marketing makes it very personalized and tailored to yeah. what the traffic and how the behavior is happening on the site. So mm. it's something that we feel really important for all stores to be getting set up, you know, collecting those email addresses, sending them a beautiful welcome email, um, sending them a nice discount to say, hey, come back and shop for your first time. And then as they're shopping and they browse or they go, get to cart and abandon, um, making sure that we nurture them back into the cart, you know, nurturing them back on that second and third email. Um, and, you know, just the revenue can be huge from what you can do from email marketing now. And Clavio allows you to really tailor and converse with the customers in a beautiful way with imagery and emails and, you know, conversation and links um so it's, it's a great way to market it's an absolutely um money maker if done correctly yeah so is clavio um an app so clavio is an app and they marry perfectly with shopify yeah. so you download the app into your store and then it's, it's it's its own platform so when you log in you'll be in it on its own interface um yeah. 
can be a bit tricky to set up. We set up a lot of our clients for them and then we send them some guides on how to manage it or we can manage it for them. Um, but yes, it's an app, you get it set up and then you just start building your database. So when someone signs up on your website, everything is managed through Clavio. So Shopify do have their own email marketing um, tool built in. However, yeah. it's, you know, it's like anything, you get what you pay for, it's free. It does the job. Okay. It's not that powerful. Um, yeah. and, you know, chances are it's not going to make you that much money. So it's like anything, you know, you get what you pay for. So Clavio, yeah. you know, it's, it's got a cost, um, yeah. but it's absolutely, again, it's worth um, getting set up and really, you know, honing down on nurturing that mm. customer, customer so that they yeah. become long, long-term customers and keep coming back. Because the idea is you don't just want people coming and shopping and they're never coming back, right? You yeah, want those true. royal customers that are going to replenish all the time. Um, and that's how you do it, by nurturing them via email marketing. Yeah. I mean, I do use uh, Shopify's free one at the moment. Mm -hmm. And it definitely does bring people back because yep. you can actually see behind it. But I yep. don't use Clavio, but that's interesting that you said that. I might look into that. And that's the thing. A lot of people, you know, I always say to them, if you're starting, just start with the basics just to get you off the yeah. ground and running. And once you feel like, okay, I know what I'm doing, then you can go forward a bit more. So hopefully my my internet saying it's not clean sometimes. So anyway, but hopefully everyone heard that. But yeah, so just start. Okay. So just start playing, everyone. Start playing and then go up to that. So you know, the one thing that I think, I mean, this is just my opinion. I'm not a Shopify expert, but I always say you just got to get it going. You know, don't worry Absolutely. about perfection. Just don't start. worry about all just the apps. Start. Just get it going, and then you can build on that and that's what I like Agreed. about Shopify that you can just start just start and go and then slowly build up to all these things that are going to make you amazing and one Agreed. thing which you probably know Anna I actually was speaking to an accountant a while ago and he was actually saying that some people with when we're talking about SEO if they're actually paying mm -hmm. for SEO big companies are paying half a million dollars you know some of them more for Easily. SEO so I I have done SEO and I don't agree with it. I just honestly think if you just use the Shopify, uh, you know, Shopify Organic. itself has the built in. Organic. I've spent so much money agree. and honestly never got any of it back. But with Shopify, okay. just using that, I have. I have actually got that back. So I agree. And I think there's other avenues, you know, it's about social media, you know, go where yeah. your customer is. If your customer's on Instagram, Go to Instagram. Be driving them from Instagram. Converse with them on on the feet, on you know, on their posts. Yeah. Chat to them that way. Be noticed. You know, that's what it's all about. Visibility and credibility equals opportunity. And just mm -hmm. by being visible where your customer is, and then talking to them, showing them that you're credible about your product, will create an opportunity, and they will come. They will come that way. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Now, one of the last things is people often say to me, am I too small to have a website? Should I have a website? Am I too small? Do I need to get sales before I'm at that? How am I going to find me? Those, you know, they're the kind of yep. nitty gritty things when you're really right. small and you just don't know. Yeah. And I guess the answer to that is you're never going to snowball and grow big if you don't start small. You've yeah. all got to start somewhere. So one sale is enough because from one comes two, comes five, comes 10, comes 100. Yeah. And if you don't make the step in the first place, you're not going to grow. So I feel there is no too small. If you have product, if you physically have something to sell right now or you're making something to order, you're good to go. You yeah. know, it's about, yeah, because it's only going to grow traction. And if you don't, you're not going to grow. So I feel... Mm you know, at the end of the day, if you've got something and you already got something in place and you're feeling like this is something you would want to do, um, just yeah. go for it. As you say before, you know, just go for it. Just yeah. go for it. You don't 100%. know when to try, you know. Yeah, and I think, you know, people are always scared. I'm going to be a failure, all these questions. And they're normal. For anyone listening, they're totally normal. normal. doesn't yep. matter how big you are. Big companies think that, oh, no, I've made a mistake putting this new product in. But, you know, for me with the SEO, I just think when you've got companies spending half a million dollars, mm -hmm. that's hard to compete, you know, oh, big, big very time. hard. So. Yeah. 
I just think work with Shopify, it has its SEO. And I mean, I agree on that because people say to me, oh, but you know, you have over 5,000 on YouTube. And I'm like, yeah, but I started with one. So you all start somewhere. And that's yeah. exactly it. It's just about making yourself visible and putting yourself out there because it only starts if you start, you know? Yeah, that's it's, right. Yeah, I, agree. I couldn't agree more. Yep. So, you know, anyone that's small, you can do this. So we will and put the in the link. Companies, you know, the biggest companies were once small also. And that's the other yeah. thing you got to think of, you know, is being an entrepreneur is all about taking the risk and just yeah. giving it a go. You know, we all fail at times, but yeah. when you fail, everything that you just, you bug it up, you learn yeah. from and you grow even stronger and you just make it succeed even, you know, even better next time. So, yeah. yeah. And I mean, I've made lots of mistakes, you know, along the way and everyone does, but you do learn from that and you go, okay, damn it, that wasn't good. But, you know, (laughs) you just like move on. on. You might teach someone else the mistake you made and it just snowballs that way also. Oh, that's right. So, you know, everybody listening, please contact Anna if you want some advice. We'll put all the links in and we will also put in a link directly to Anna so then you can uh, organise an appointment and uh, things like that that. because, as you all know, I am not a Shopify expert. (laughs) I have a site, so you need to know the getting there. And we're very excited because Anna will be at the Australian Soaping and Candle Conference in 2023 at our gorgeous gala night, which we know people are very excited and talking and lots of platforms about that at the moment. So that would be very exciting. Yeah, we look forward to meeting you all in person. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Anna. I really appreciate everything today. And I'm sure everyone will start to contact you and see how amazing your little company is. Thank you very much for having me on. Thanks, Rhonda. All right, bye. Bye.